Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to Aspire TV. This is Barke Faraj and I am here today to actually bring you back to kind of <laughs> this is the reality of life. Okay, every other person, every one of us, I should say, we hit a rock bottom. Okay, we hit a wall because whatever you're going through or whatever is happening in your life that you want or you're focusing is or wherever you're going, you will come across a place, a moment in your life that you will feel that. <sighs> Everything is not going your way. Everything is becoming frustration. Frustra you have frustration, you have anger, maybe something that to do with either your personal life, either your business, or either the thing that you want. There's just been a lot of obstacles in front of you. Now, I want us to actually have these three steps that we can help each other, but also you can find if it will work for you and what maybe needs to adjust to that, those three things that I'm going to share with you soon. Now, like I said, it's ha it happens to most of all of us. And this thing, it's something that we have to be aware on ourselves. And also we have to actually choose and remind each other that, you know what? It's okay. <laughs> you are okay. Whatever is happening, you are still okay. Okay. So the first step is rather than putting your head under the sun, under the sand, Okay, like ostrich, they do that. They put their head under the sand. They're in denial. They don't want to know. And for me, I would say to you, don't do that. Okay, the best thing is actually, let's take step backwards. Why are we taking step backwards? And this is about reflection of your why. It's very important for every one of us to actually remind ourselves why we're doing or why we're focusing on this goal or why we want our business to actually have a profitable uh to become a profitable business or why do we want this business to to go where we want it to go so we always have to we had to start with the why we had to start with the intention we had to start with this i'm doing this because of this i am actually making these decisions or creating this new new life for a reason so whatever it is that you are actually doing it for. Now, I want you to also reflect on where you started. You must have gone through something. You had epiphany or whatever it came, that idea of you actually go and do it or you coming up with this with this idea or this uh, goal or this focus or this business or this uh, personal development why is that what was the pain or what was how do, how did you come up to this point that you actually say i want to do it for this reason or this is my vision so i want you to go back to that because end of the day if you don't actually stand up and create something of yourself and make it in a way that this is this is why i'm doing it and it has to touch here it has to touch your soul when it touches you i know i'm supporting my heart i know but <laughs> it's part of the connection of this soul so i can't say <laughs> it's up there but it's touching your soul and the connecting it's like you're going back to actually connecting the dots that creating or made you to focus and becoming this person that you are, that you are today, but then you didn't, you haven't got to where you wanted, you are on your journey, but then you hit a wall on an obstacle that it feels at that time that it's just too much to bear. And this is the most important thing because then it reminds you why we're doing this in the first place and actually gives you that strength, motivates you and made you feel refreshed in a way that, you know what? <laughs> There's nothing else. In my life, I would do it. I would do rather than this or where I am or what I'm doing.
So it's very important. Like for example, okay, I like to give an example for myself. So for example, like for me, okay, in my journey, people, especially my family, they couldn't see that. Why you're doing what what are you why you keep doing this this job by empowering people doing everything you're doing most of the time it was for free why are you doing that and i was like i need to get experience i need to get people to know me i want them to actually hear me okay because when the money comes in for me it wasn't about the money at the beginning it was actually making a difference so i was just like no i'm gonna make it and i'm gonna make it this is it but then i was when i started doing that because you start to get used to give it for free so much and then when it comes to oh i have to charge now <laughs> i'm ready to charge now and you're like mm. oh, uh, uh, this is just me i don't know about everybody else so i was just like mm, i need to change my mindset now now it's all about okay this is a business i need to make money but at the same time guess what i'm gonna give you a great result so it's all about what type of journey or where you are that you're gonna hit that wall now for me making a difference is such a big thing that I was like, there's no one else can stop me, even myself to make this reality. No one. I'm going to do it. <laughs> now, the next thing is mapping out. Okay. Mapping out your outcome. Is this similar in a way of the, you live your, why you have your intention. Now you want to look at your results. What results do you want from this outcome, from this journey, from this business, from this idea or focus you where, where you're focusing on? Is it a promotion? Is it a business? It's what exactly is the outcome you want? So that's the second thing. You have to map it out. You have to visualize, you have to actually see it feel it taste it that it, it gives you kind of like a rush it gives you kind of like oh my god i want it now <laughs> i'm actually living it because i can feel it and i can see it and i can taste it and i can oh my god you can't stop talking about it because it just feels so good sorry for talking too fast <laughs> and it's just exciting okay <laughs> and the last thing is actually this is to find a way to motivate you. Now, I used to actually love doing as um, at the beginning of my journey was to listen to motivate, uh, motivate motivation speakers. Um, I really loved, um, what do you call it, uh, Les Brown. I really loved um, Abraham Hicks when I want to go deeper or Jim Rohn when I really want to go deeper into it. And um, so every different speaker they go different when i feel something like uh, today i need this kind of motivation or today i need um i need kind of like in depth and today i just want to relax so i do kind of i listen to meditation uh music or i listen to uh, I'm a Muslim, so I listen to Quran, it actually calms me. I listen and I hear, I listen to the inter, interpret, uh, what do you call it, um, translating of it. I listen to the water, just like I love, I love sea. So I just listen to the sea, the way just the waves hitting and relaxing my mind and actually making me feel good and i love that so three things reflection your why where how where did you start and how did you come up with this idea number two mapping out your outcome your results what do you want from all this journey or where you are where you want to go what is exactly do you want to get ahead and what do you want to feel it and how you want to see it and how do you want to taste it and how you're going to be yourself and the third thing is what motivates you what exactly motivates you you need to find that out for yourself. And um, <laughs> I wish you all the best. If you have any questions, please get back to us. And also, if you have anything that, uh, qu uh, either questions or concerns or anything that you feel, I need to put at this one. I need to write it them down and it's actually good for you. So I wish you all the best and I shall see you soon. Take care, everybody. Salam alaikum.